welcome back to another video today i'm trying to change the scenery of how i usually do my sit down videos when i give you guys real estate tips if you didn't know or you forgot my name is amia wilson i'm a realtor in the state of texas today we're going to be talking about tips for first time home buyers in this market the disclaimer these tips work until they don't they may work for your situation or your friend's situation but they may not work for you you have to do what's best for you and that's the thing about real estate it has to be a situation that's perfect for you take these tips as you can and hopefully it does work for you and i helped you a little bit my first tip if you're a first time home buyer and you're using down payment assistance i would recommend if possible and it works for your situation to maybe look into new builds and down payment assistance then it might be ideal to go with the builder because they are offering really good buyer incentives right now so they're really trying to get rid of these homes especially if you're waiting until the end of the year or the beginning of the year to purchase so they're giving you know, money back so you don't have a down payment they also have in-house lenders so they're offering lower rates than you know market rates so they'll have certain lenders where they're offering $5.99 interest rates or $4.99 interest rates you can also use the money if you qualify you can also use the money that they're willing to give you to purchase down program or a rate buy down program where it's like the first year it'll be $3.99 the second year it'll be $4.99 interest rates and then for the rest of the remainder of your mortgage it'll be $5.99 and then of course when rates if they do drop ever again that low again then refinance and get it even lower but that's the only reason why I rep like I recommend new construction and like I said that works until it doesn't yes you'll get in a little bit cheaper if you go with their lender and they have like a really good program for you but sometimes they do have higher property taxes depending on the area so it could make your monthly payment go up so i would just talk to your lender and i would talk to your realtor if you're not using me if you need down payment assistance new construction is there offering that and giving you lower interest rates because there are other programs outside of new construction that are that have down payment programs but they usually come with a higher interest rate whereas with these lenders you know they're offering you a little bit less of an interest rate so yeah that would be tip is like i mentioned before i just wanted to go more in depth in that seller concessions you really should be trying to negotiate seller concessions right now so that you're saving money at the closing table whether it's to cover your down payment or it's to cover your closing costs of you know your title your appraisals your things to try and get that money back and that way you're saving some money or you can negotiate those seller concessions outside of a new construction any type of home you can try to negotiate seller concessions enough so that you can you know either buy down points now that's something that you'd have to ask your lender if it's worth it for you to buy down points or if they offer a buy down program there's a couple of buy down programs so you will have to ask them about it and if you want a video on that just let me know in the comments below i'll have a lender sit down with me and we'll talk about it and talk about the options you can negotiate from those sellers that are already pre-existing homes or older homes and you can ask them to give you money and you can use that to buy down your rate temporarily or buy you know points to lower your interest rate whatever works best for your situation but that's my second tip third tip would be to look in up and coming areas and new areas some people you know they want to be where the hype is they want to know they want to be where they're already comfortable they want to be where it's a place where it's already established i understand that i can be like that but to try and find what you want at the price that you want and it's affordable for you sometimes you have to look in those areas so that's why i recommend it just find a town that's in a place that you would still be comfortable it just may not be all the way finished yet and look in those areas because a lot of time you'll find exactly what you're looking for for a lot cheaper than trying to go to an already established city or an already established area that's you know sky high already because <laughs> it's already finished so that's why i would recommend you know looking at up and, up and coming areas like smaller cities that you know they're building up a lot or you know just little pocket areas in the city that you prefer that are building up because like for example if you're in the houston texas area cleveland for one it's an up and coming they're building up a lot they have five bedroom <laughs> new constructions homes for you know in the one, 185 215 230 like, third tip would be d get some quotes some people like to go straight for their bank and whoever they're comfortable with or whoever they've gotten qualified with whoever they know is a lender and they can do you know mortgage loans but i would recommend in the first 30 days while you're trying to get it pre-approved just talk to a couple lenders have a conversation with them sometimes mortgage brokers will have different programs and they will give you you know more money in your pocket and it'll be better for you so that's why it's 
you know best and a good idea to shop around a lot if you're just going from lender to lender and they can only offer you regular like market products and whatever you know down payment assistance is at market then you know there's no point of calling around and looking around because they're all going to have the same thing but if you go with like mortgage brokerage i mean mortgage brokers or private lenders or anything like that just speak to a couple people that can give you a mortgage and see what programs they offer and see if you can find one that's best for you if it's all the same then you know hey just stop ask a realtor ask me i can possibly help you if you're in the texas area yeah it's a good idea especially in this market not to go with the first pre-approval that you get because you may find another program that that will give you a better rate or give you a better monthly payment or something of the sorts so yeah definitely shop around a little bit don't do too much because then you're going to keep thinking that there's better and better and better and really <laughs> there's not going to be better that's why you just have to talk to a couple people and then for my first time home buyers please do not be afraid of finding a home that is structurally sound the inspection is going to come up okay it's just going to have some com cosmetic flaws don't be scared of that i know a lot of people they want to go straight into new construction will work if it fits your budget and it's for you but say that new construction you know idea that i gave in the beginning of the video doesn't work for you and you have to go with something that's pre-existing or something that's older or something that's smaller don't be scared of it if it if you're looking for a five bedroom and that you found a five bedroom it's just ugly and and this is for the people that don't mind to fix things up and it's ugly but it's the price that you want is going to get you the monthly payment that you want and you're going to be comfortable go with that house and just fix it up like there's some there's so many videos on youtube university that you could do and fix things up you guys see on my channel if you've been following me for a while that i do a lot of diys and a lot of it if i didn't learn it from my dad then i learned it from youtube and i learned it from talking to contractors and other people and just getting up on it and I know sometimes that's not ideal for everybody's budget. So I'm not saying go in and getting a fixer upper that you have to take down to the studs and it's gonna cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm just saying that if you walk in and they have yellow paint, don't decline the house because it has yellow paint. Like just get a $30 bucket of paint and paint the house and go with the house because it's gonna be your, you know, your starter home. Sometimes we have to start at starter homes. We're not gonna just jump right into our dream home. So it's important to keep that mindset. This tip that I have for you guys, it's, I wouldn't say that it's a tip. I just want to do like a little myth buster at the end of the video. Please don't believe the people on the news and all this other all this other stuff that I've been seeing where it says that you have to have 20% down to buy a house, which is not true. Like I said, you can get a down payment assistance program if that's what your situation is calling for and you need it. And then you can also get seller concessions. So that way you're basically going to the table with nothing. I've seen people go to the table and they get checks back because they had seller concessions and it covered more than what it needed to cover and you'll be okay yes it is a good idea to have savings and yes it is if you have it it is a good idea to put more money down so that you can get you know better rates and you don't absolutely need 20 percent down i think i was just talking to a lender and i believe he said they've lowered the standard so it's more like 10 or 15 for certain programs and for fha it's 3.5 and if you have like a really, really low credit score, then it's 10%. But if you have 580 and above for FHA, it's 3.5% down. And then they have down payment assistance programs that will cover up to 4%. And then we can talk to a seller about getting you seller concessions. So that way they pay down some of the things that you would still have to pay outside of that down payment assistance. And if you forgot about the hidden costs, I have a video on my channel. I will put it in the description below. There are hidden costs. They're not even hidden. There's costs that first time home buyers will forget about. And I don't want you guys to forget about it. So I'll put that video in the description so you don't forget about it. Yeah, those are my tips that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.